So if you guys were to ask me, what's going to be my favorite Rose Resto Mod, the 1.5s or the 4s, what do you think I would have said? Hey. Well, what's up, y'all? Crazy Black 108 here, and of course, I'm back with another video. Performance review, isn't that lovely? Man, this is good to be out here, man. It's good to be back out here playing, trying, trying to do something, trying to get back in shape, trying to lose some of the roles, you know? Something, the beer, I don't know, it, it's difficult. But, let's talk about what you're really here for. The D-Rose 4 Resto Mod. So, I said, which one do you think, I, guys, I would like better? Well, I'll tell you at the end of the video, because I don't want y'all to just leave quick, you know, or you click skip to the end, whatever happens. So let's, you know, talk about the shoe from top to bottom. So the Rose 4 Resto Mod is, again, a shoe that has a slight difference from the original. That difference being the midsole. The midsole on these is now bounced. It's no longer an Audi Perrine puck here in the heel. No, you have a full-length bounced midsole, which honestly changes the game for the shoe. I thought I liked the shoe back when it came out, but this... This is different. Um, let's talk about some other features before we get into my, my favorite thing being that cushioning. The collar here is that GeoFit padding. You love, gotta love that GeoFit padding because it's nice, comfortable. This is that sprint web upper that they had at the time. It's plasticky. It's not my favorite thing. It's kind of, what's up, Fly? You know, it's not my favorite thing, but uh, it is something that it does keep my foot contained pretty well, which I do like. It's a little, it can get a little pokey at some points, but so far when I've played in it, I haven't really noticed that too much, which is, you know, it's okay. It is what it is. Sprint uh, frame here in the back heel, you know, three stripes in the back. The last thing you see is D-Rose blows past you. All that great, wonderful, regular stuff. I do uh, love that stuff a lot on here. Um, but let's talk about the main attraction, that bounce midsole. So the bounce midsole on these is actually super comfortable. My favorite thing about this bounce midsole is the fact that the Rose 4s originally, to me, and some people may have felt a different experience, had like a high arch in them with how they set up this uh, side here and I'll push them into my arch. That wasn't something I was super fond of because I don't have a high arch. I have, if a medium arch to like a low arch. So having that push into my foot wasn't the best thing and you know, it was, it was, you know, I was younger. I guess, damn, that's weird to say I was young. Oh gosh. I guess I've been doing this for like, you know, 10 years or so at this point. But that being said, um, it was different back then, but on here, it's now more of a, it's the same feel th all throughout, which one gives me better court feel and two makes the cushioning just feel much nicer. And I feel like I enjoy it a lot more. And that also helps when you have a great traction outsole. This traction outsole, for the people that saw the Son of Shy review, this traction outsole uh, is the same way as it is on Son of Shy's. It's just a tiny bit thicker on here, and I do like that. You know, the multi-directional, this was that new generation pure motion back when these came out. This is awesome. Great on court. It's great uh, outdoors, even when I play today in them, uh, but I really do love these indoor, and probably this will be my new indoor hooping shoe, unless I like the Sun of Shy 2s a lot more. I'll probably all set between these and the Sun of Shy's, to be honest, because I do really love this. Um, something I do want to talk about aesthetic from this shoe that I like, just because I haven't talked about that much in some of the other reviews I've done performance-wise, because you guys hear me talk about these shoes enough when I do the regular reviews, right? Is I really do love on here how the D-Rose logo is here, but the shininess back behind here. This is that 3M reflective stuff. Love that. That's still just something I, I love that call out to. And another small thing being where it says Derek Rose here, I do also really like that as well too. Um, What's is funny too as well is that these have like for the my coach speed cell. I don't think they still sell these, but I still have mine, so you can put that in there track. You know, last time I did that, I tracked that I ran like about 18 miles per hour one time. That was pretty no, it was it was 20. It was 20 miles per hour one time. It was pretty cool. It's like a quick, you know, burst of speed. I was much younger. I don't know if I could do that now, you know, ankle, ankle willing. But uh yeah, you know, so overall, just with this shoe performance-wise, I really do love this shoe. And between this and the 1.5s, I have to go with this. The 1.5s maybe has a better um, aesthetic look to me that I really like and I'm really fond of, but the fours just that performance and how it cups my you know it keeps my foot locked in the way the traction feels and the way i feel supportive even after that ankle injury i had is great i did because coming back from that when i was playing my alumni league there was one game i know where i had uh like 25 points with this shoe that's 
not anything amazing, honestly, because it's, it's an alumni league. It's ba Valiant's will be pickup ball. But my point being, I felt good to drive to the lane, score, because I'm not really a shooter. I'm a slasher, cutter. So, like, that is a lot of ankle intensive stuff, but I felt safe and comfortable in this shoe, which is fantastic. And of course, I've got my speed wraps on because you know, you know me, I wear my speed wraps. I wear my speed wraps where I go, you know, that, that, that's just that little slight stuff. But uh, yeah, one last thing to talk about though, sizing. This is another case where this shoe go true to size. If you wear a 10, get a 10. Traditionally, the rose line after the fours, you start going to like nine and a half. And so because of that, initially when I got the Boardwalk Re Resto Mod colorway, those were a nine and a half. And that's what prolonged me from from uh, wearing those again to do a performance review because I was wearing them, I was trying them and they were good, but it was too tight. Size 10 though, correct size. So I'm happy to have that for these. I'm happy to be able to test these out for you guys. So, you know, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. I really am glad that you guys, you know, continue to support me through my times of weighing on stuff and, you know, the other content that's not shoe reviews, but, you know, be the anime stuff for the Star Wars stuff, because that may come out before some of this. You'll be like, where are my reviews of the shoes, bro? I'm, I'm here for D-Rose. I don't want this Star Wars shit. But, you know, I, I gotta do what I gotta do, man. Just, just let me let me live. But yeah, I want to thank you guys for supporting. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you think about these shoes. Uh, to all the fans I have out in the Philippines, thank you guys again for your support. And I know one of my subscribers is the one that told me that these were, well, I commented and you know, I let me end up knowing that these were back in stock in my size on East Bay. So big shout out to you, I appreciate that. And again, huge shout out to my man Carter for coming out and filming these reviews for me. If without him, you guys would have gotten these. I really would have hit you with the, well, my ankle's busted. I ain't got no one to film these. So I mean, ah, what, what you want? What you want from me? But <laughs> you know, that's all I really got for you guys. Until next time, peace. I'll see you around later. And I hope you guys have enjoyed these reviews. Bye.